Hi. Right. Welcome. Today, I thought I would show you what I've been working on sort of over the last week. I've been trying to figure out ways to make it a little bit easier for me to access my guitars when I wanted to play them. And for the most part, they've all, not all of them, many have been in cases in different parts of the house, just kind of tucked away so that they're not in the way. So I was thinking about a rack, a multi-guitar rack. I looked at buying some. I like to save money whenever I can. So in the process of looking for multi-guitar racks, I found some how-to videos on how to make one. I thought I might be able to do that. So I looked at some of the wood that I had available already, so I didn't have to buy some. So this is using all wood that was left over from other projects. I have uh, two different types of plywood. A little bit thinner than what most of the plans were asking for, but I figured this, it, it wasn't that big of a difference. I figured I could make this work. Um, I saw plans for anywhere from four guitars to I think 10 guitars was the biggest. I needed it to be a certain size because of where I store this normally when I'm not using it. Um, but I wanted to fit as many guitars as I could. So I made them a little bit close together. They're still very easy to get the guitar in and out. Not a problem. Do have to be just a little bit careful with some of them. The areas that the guitar rests on are all padded using a little bit of felt that is wrapped over with some polar fleece, and I found those on sale at, at a local uh, sewing uh, store where they sell a lot of different supplies, craft supplies, sewing supplies, and materials. And I got a light brown to kind of blend in with the wood so it didn't stand out. I didn't want something real contrasty on that. I decided on seven guitars so that uh, it would give me a good selection and still be a reasonable size. Using the, the wood that I had left over from other projects, buying the material, I did have to buy a, a new staple gun because mine quit operating after the first staple. That was frustrating. But I went back and bought a new staple gun. That was about $20. That $20, I added another $26 for the casters that are on the bottom so that I can roll this. And it's easily moved when I want to put it back into its little storage area. Um, but it's easy for me to access, to get out when I want to do sort of quick practicing or just experimenting with ideas, things like that, or when I want to get out my equipment to do a music video. I like the way it turned out. It, it does everything I need it to do. The guitars are nice and safe, it appears, and this these guitars uh, represent what I have been using the most often in my guitar collection. This is about half of the guitars that I own right now. It has the most used bass, electric bass. It has my only acoustic electric guitar. Baritone guitar that I use for some, well, a few different things, but I use that a lot for some of my ambient style music right now. 
and then four electric guitars, uh, uh, like a three single coil guitar, one that I made that is a, it's like a double cutaway tele, my version of a Telecaster. It does everything I want and it looks a lot better and it feels a lot better the way I've designed it to play. A lot more comfortable for me. Um, and then a couple other electric guitars that have slightly different sounds. So this is kind of my toolbox for guitar work right now. If I need a different sound, I can always go and get that guitar, but those are sounds that I won't use as frequently as I will be using these. Let me know what you think. I think this was a perfect solution to my problem. This will go right back. into a little slot that I have back here. And be completely out of the way when I don't need it. Um, the only thing it is doing is blocking me from getting back into these. But again, I can just roll that out, grab a flute that I need back there. But I think it solves all my all my problems. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I love the way it turned out. It's doing everything I needed to do. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Click the little bell down over there so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. It could be taking a look at a guitar. It could be taking a first look or a more in-depth look at one of the flutes in my collection. More than anything else, it will be a music video. That's what I post the most of. Could be a flute by itself solo. It could be the flute mixed with a lot of other styles of instruments, something as simple as a drum or a rab drum, which is more of a melody style instrument. Beautiful tone. I love the way that the rav drum and the flute sound together. Could be something more modern with guitars, keyboard, things like that. Could be a tutorial on how, mainly, how to play the Native American style flute. It's one of the easiest instruments in the world to learn how to play. Don't have to read music. You can just play your own song after a, a fairly short time of learning the basic scale and where those notes are. Very, very simple. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of skill. But they're a whole lot of fun and they sound wonderful. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.